and here's what they tell you. So they give you the following information. They tell you that uh, QR and ST are parallel to each other. They tell you that RS has an arc measure of 40 degrees and that QR is a diameter. And so this is dealing with circle P here. All right, so each of these questions builds on this same set of given information. So if you wanted to find the measure of angle QRT, well, when you look, this is kind of tying in some of the relationships that we talked about from chapter three. In, in chapter three, we know that alternate interior angles of parallel lines are equal. So this angle T and angle R are equal to each other. So if angle T is an inscribed angle that intercepts an arc of 40 degrees, it's going to be half of that intercepted arc, so that'll be 20, which means that R is the um, uh, alternate interior angle, so it also is going to be 20 degrees. Okay, for part B, asked to find the measure of arc ST. Well, again, if, if this angle is 20 degrees, then that means this intercepted arc will be twice that measure, so it'll also be 40 degrees. And in fact, anytime you have parallel lines in a circle, they are going to uh, intersect uh, equal or congruent arcs. And so if each of these is 40 and the whole thing is a semicircle from Q to R, then what's left for ST? 180 minus 240s, which leaves 100. So that would be your value for B. And then the one that most students who struggled on this or had a tough time recognizing was, um, and it's more along the line of how to enter the answer than it is the calculation of it. And, and so if you were told that RQ, so we get an additional piece of information that the diameter RQ is three, and you wanna find the arc length. So the arc length equation, remember, is M over 360 times C. Okay, but you can express C three different ways. You can express it just as C, the circumference, as D pi if you are involving the diameter, or as 2 pi r if you're involving the radius. So the fact that we have the diameter means let's express this in terms of D pi, the diameter. <clears throat> and so if we know the arc measure is 40 degrees, so we take 40 over 360 times the diameter is 3 pi, and so if we solve this, the factors of 10 cancel. 4 goes into 36 9 times. 3 goes into 9 3 times. So you really wind up with pi over 3. So your answer is going to be pi over 3. The way that you would write this in is you would write it as pi parentheses parentheses over 3. And then I accepted a, a number of different variations of this, but that would be probably the most accurate way to express 